This is the Children and Youth Sunday School lesson for May 22nd in the year 2022. Um, it is called the Pool of Bethesda. And the memory verse comes from Matthew 25, 40. And the king will say, I tell you truly, whatever you do for the least of these brothers of mine, you do for me. That means that whenever we do anything to help somebody else, it is really lifting up Jesus and helping him. Think about that. Okay, the story is the Pool of Bethesda. And in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate, there was a um, place with five tall columns. And the columns held up porches. I'm going to show you what a column is. Hold on. See that the post right there? That post is what holds up this porch. My porch roof, okay? That's a column. And that column, these columns, big, big columns, they were probably this big around. They were holding up this porch. And under the porch were all kinds of people who were very sick. There were blind people and lame people and paralyzed people. And as Jesus walked through there, someone said to him, you know, that, lay, that man right there has been laying in that spot for 38 years. And Jesus went over to him and he said, do you want to get well? And the man said, well... I do, but my problem is when the angel comes and stirs up the water so that somebody who gets in the water gets better, somebody always pushes ahead of me, and I can never get in there. And Jesus said, get up, pick up your mat, your sleeping mat, and go home. And the man who had not been able to walk all those years picked up his mat and started walking through the temple grounds away from the pool of Bethesda. Now, it would have been okay, except it happened on the Sabbath. The Sabbath was Saturday, and the Jews had some pretty picky ideas of what people were allowed to do on the Sabbath. So, they came up to the man and they said, why are you carrying your mat? It is the Sabbath day. You're not allowed to carry a mat. And he said, the man who made me better told me to carry it. Well, who was the man that made you better? I don't know. Just some man. He came through. He came through and he told me to pick up my mat and go home and I was all better. And they said, well, you shouldn't listen to him. And then Jesus found the man again. And he said, hey, you are well now. Stop sinning or you're going to something worse is going to happen to you. Do you see how his sin was tied to his physical condition at that point. He was sick because of the stuff he was doing with his body or with his mind or his spirit. So that's what Jesus said. Don't, 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 don't do it anymore. Don't sin anymore. So he went back to the Jewish leaders and said, you know, I told you the one I didn't know who made me better. It was Jesus. That's who it was. That's how I got better. And the Jewish leader said, oh, we're going to kill Jesus. We're going to kill him. And Jesus said, um, you're going to kill me because what? Because I made him better? Oh, no, 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 because you worked on the Sabbath. And Jesus said, my father, God, works all the time, and I'm doing the work that he sent me to do. And now they were really mad. Not only had he healed somebody on the Sabbath, but he was calling God his father, and that made him equal to God. Now the question is, is God really Jesus' father? He is. He is. Let's pray. Dear Father God, when Jesus went to that man who had been laying there for 38 years and made him better, that was a great work that he did for you. Help us, O oh Lord, to be doing great works for you by being kind to people who really need to know more about you. In Jesus' name, amen.